Well, you've got two frozen shoulders. You've had them for how long? What's your history on these frozen shoulders? Frozen shoulders, the right one, like 15, 16 months. Mm -hmm. And I think the left one was also, but was also frozen, but doctors didn't uh, thought, uh, didn't see that. So they focused on an operation between my collarbone and my acromion. But I think that in that stage, it was a little bit shoulder too, I mean. Uh, but they focused on the other thing, and after the surgery, it became more frozen, uh, mm -hmm. so uh, I could say that more or less frozen, diagnosed, 15 months. Both both sides? More or less, yes, mm -hmm. more or less. Yeah. All right, let's mm -hmm. see uh, what... Uh, you came from Spain to Tallinn, Estonia to get these shoulders fixed. Let's see what we can do here, uh, raising to the side. This is the, this is the one uh, which is worst, which is the one that uh, hasn't... Uh, undergone any surgery. This mm -hmm. is the one that hasn't undergone any surgery, but this is mm -hmm. worse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has less. Let's see, let's see the other side. Keep yes. the, keep that one up. Okay. I help myself sometimes by uh, moving the, the mm -hmm. hand a little mm -hmm. bit because sometimes it helps me. Yeah, raise it a bit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. it, it is like avoiding keep the. Keep it keep it down though for okay. this for this keep them pointed down, keep them pointed down the hand. Ah, okay. This one is, is much more difficult. It's been a long time since I, I haven't been able to do this. I don't know if I can. Because this one is the one which is best. Okay. That's how you have to do it, yeah. I could, yes, because this one is a little bit better. So I, I have to take this one first. Mm -hmm. Treatments have you tried in the last 15 months? What have you been doing? Uh, okay, uh, before I have, I had my frozen shoulder. I tried physiotherapy a lot, uh, and it helped me in that moment. But when the uh, sh shoulder became uh, more and more uh, frozen, physiotherapy was most and most painful and very uh, frustrating for me because uh, the doctors and the physiotherapists didn't know that I was. Uh, doing a, a frozen shoulder, I was uh, de developing a frozen shoulder. Uh, now, these last 15 months, uh, since I don't trust f physiotherapists anymore because they was doing me a lot of pain, I've been doing by myself. Uh, I get in, into warm water, into a pool of warm water, very calm, and I try to do very soft stretching and it helps me a little bit. Also, uh, uh, I am. they are uh, doing me with ultrasounds, mm -hmm. rubbing me with ultrasounds, and I think that's also helpful mm -hmm. in some point, though uh, all the progress is very, very uh, slowly, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's very frustrating because sometimes if you, if you do a back movement, you mm -hmm. go backwards. So it's uh, something very, very tricky, very mm -hmm. difficult to... Not the injections in the shoulder. The injections I haven't tried because I, mm -hmm. I uh, asked the doctor who was going to mm. do the, the mm. surgery and he told me that it wasn't going to be enough mm. to have a cortisone okay. by itself. All right. On the Trigenix pre-op work on the right shoulder, uh, let's see what we can do with the right shoulder now. Beautiful. Much better. Much, Much better. better. Yeah, and the left one? Now it's, it's a, keep the right one up, and the left one, it's almost the same, but much better, isn't it? Yes. Injection. Tell me when you feel. I feel in the mm -hmm. the, ni the needle. Al.
I prefer because I think uh, if you try cortisone by itself, that doesn't work. It doesn't work. But no. now may maybe yeah. this is the point Useful, to use yeah. it. No? To That's use right. Exactly. We just finished the procedure. Let's see uh, what you can do with that right arm now. Now go to the wall. Now go to the wall. How do you like that, eh? Look at you. Now go to the wall. Square off here. Square off here. No? Okay. And you're going to do your pushing. Come over here. Come over. Come over. Come over. I'm going to hold you in here. That's it. Breathing, and go. Pressing down, pressing, and relax and go up higher, up higher. You can do it, you can do it. Okay, now turn just, that's good. Good. That's it, beautiful, now we're getting there. Turn that hand. Turn that hand at the top. Turn it in. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Breathing. Now Rosa can help by supporting you here. Yes. Okay. Just tell her to support you. See the support I'm giving you here? Okay. Mm-hmm. No. No, I, I, I keep it up. Turn around. That's painful. Now sideways down. Sideways. Turn the hand. Turn the hand. Sideways down. Good, but listen. You've done it, right? Your arm is up. Look where your arm is. Huh? Of course it's painful, but look where it is. Jesus, this is right after the procedure, right? Yes. Yeah. Look at where your arm is. You know what? The amazing thing is that I don't even feel the pain, my aesthetic pain anymore. You don't feel any of that, no. You just, it's just amazing. My brain only have now. So you have, yeah. Information for this one. Yeah, yeah. Good for you that you got your arm up, isn't it? Yes. Hmm? yes. Yeah, you happy? The, the most time I have the arm uh, up, the better. Yeah, that's oh, right. I understand it. Are you happy you came all the way from Spain? Yes, yes. Eh? Yes? <laughs> okay. There is a long way to go. I, I Spain, guess, uh, I guess. Uh, yeah. It's still not like me with my shoulder. Yeah. yeah. No, there isn't the long way to go. There's three days. There's, there's no long way to go. It's done. Your shoulder's open. You just have to keep it open the next three days and you're fine. I'm promising you that, okay? okay. There's no more long way to go. You have your arm behind your back. Put it put it down now. Yeah, it's done. That's why you came here. You came to get this done. So this is an important thing now is that I have to get used to a little bit of pain. No? I mean, not to avoid it. I have to go. Over the next few days you have to work through a little bit of pain that's going to be there from the inflammation after the procedure. That's right. Exactly. So you're happy? Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy. It's been a amazing experience. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's right after the procedure, but you can get your arm back. Look at it. And you're not flexible to begin with, are you? No. <laughs> not right. I'm not the kind of person who can do. Good I guess for you. this is the, the maxi, the, the most I have reached, even when I was normal with my yeah. feet shoulder. Yeah. So when, where are we now? We're the d next day? Is this the next day? Next day after the procedure, yes. Yeah, and you're happy with this? It's yes, up there? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, it has been like two years or even more uh -huh. since I uh, hadn't been able to move my arm so so high. Right. So my mother was impressed <laughs> when I showed her the photos. Fantastic. So everybody was happy. And yes. I'll bet your physiotherapists and your doctors will be pretty impressed. Yes. Right? I hope so. <laughs> now we're going to fix the other one. Okay. The left side, yeah? You ready for that? Yes, okay. I'm ready. All right, good. So come around from the front. So we're going to drink with the left hand. Go ahead, right after the procedure, raise the elbow up. Good. Now drink with the right hand. <laughs> That's good. Raise the elbow up. How long have you been since you've been able to drink like that? Huh? Both arms using. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Huh? A long time, a long time. <laughs> yeah. So there's a double frozen shoulder now. Okay. This is immediately after the procedure now. Let's see. Try and raise, raise up to the ceiling as far as you can. Go right up without the wall first. Okay. Beautiful. Isn't that, look at that.
Reach over and hold support with the other one. Uh, no, I don't have okay. No, no, you don't. Okay, you don't have to go up there. You can reach over here. Uh, you can just reach over here. So, but I think I do. You want to reach to the top? I, I oh, you can do it. You can do it. Good. You don't need it. You don't need it. It's in pain now, Good. but I, I think I can do it by myself. Fantastic. Like yeah, just let it down a little faster now. Go ahead. Like this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now what you're going to do is we're going to get both of them up. Uh-huh. You're going to go in toward the middle. You're going to reach like this. Like this. And you're going to come this way. In. Well, reach, as, reach as high as you can first with both arms. Uh -huh. High as you can. Go. Wow, is that a good one, huh? Boy, is that a good one. Good for you. Good for you. Now he's had surgery, two surgeries on this shoulder, so there's still a bit of an impingement. It's not going to get much higher than this. We had some difficulty with the procedure on this one because of the prior surgeries, which had created more scar tissue, and it was a harder, tighter, tight, tighter type of scar tissue than the normal tissue that just develops from a standard frozen shoulder. So that's why this one was a little more difficult. Even though this one was much worse when we started, this one was harder to actually open the adhesions on. But now we're, and this is probably as far as that shoulder is going to ever go. Uh, it's been like that for a long, long time, but this is really good. What do you think? Really good? Yes, yes. Now, we're going to put both hands together. Look, watch watch me. We're going to turn and put them together this way. Can you turn them? Okay, so just do them this way now for now. That's it. Just do them this way for now. Now, breathe. So, bear in mind that this was a bilateral frozen shoulder, which means frozen shoulder on both sides. And Jesus came from Spain to get this done, right? Yes. To Estonia. It was 12 hours of flying in different cities and coming through. and. Uh, are you happy you got your arms up? Yes. Eh? Yes, yeah. really, really. Okay. So we're just going to eliminate this one point of discomfort and pain that you have today. This is good. You've got to work through this. It's very, very important. Breathing. Come down. 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 I know I'm right on the point. I know, I know, I know. That's why I'm on it. <laughs> And relax, that's why I'm on it. You've got to, these adhesions are open. These adhesions are open, and you've got to keep them open. And you've got to go through this point. I'm sorry, but you have to do it. Breathe, breathing. So there is some pain still. It's only Friday, and it was Monday, so four days later. All right? Breathing, but it was like this for almost two years. So now we get through the retraining program, and we have to go through the pieces where the adhesions were separated and broken, where there's still some little bits lingering in there, and where there's still now an inflammation or um, causing a causing a uh, impingement syndrome. And now what we're going to do is you're going to come down and forward this way, breathing, breathing, breathing. had uh, the pain, okay, you had the pain, let's just stand up now, and you were having to use the wall because you had a point of pain, now we just did the trigenics treatment on it, let's see, we can raise both of them up again, that's good, that one goes up beautifully, and up, straight up in the air, that's good, now turn, and now come down. You see? It's better. That's why you need to see Alvaro. It's better. Alvaro uh -huh. doing the trigenics. You need some follow up trigenics on the tendonitis okay. that causes the impingement, uh -huh. which is causes the pain. Mm -hmm. This is not from the frozen shoulder, it's not from yes. the scar tissue. Mm -hmm. There may be little bits, but we really separated. You heard all that scar tissue opening. Yes, yes. You know it all opened up. You know your arm can get up there. Mm -hmm. You got to work through the pain, but if you get some help and you get the trigenics treatments, mm -hmm then, as you can see, it's going to help a lot. Yes. And you'll be completely out of the woods, and you'll be on your own. Perfect. Arms will be up and down and no problem. Okay? Mm -hmm. Wow. Second day for the... Very, very, very for good. For the ride and the... the Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. That's really, really good. Yeah. Really, really, really good. Really, really good. Excellent. Alright, victory, victory.